Hello everyone. We are uh, about to to change everything in Idio because the new app that Destiny is out soon to be released and I wanted to say goodbye to the old system which I I really really loved. This is my last setup of uh, Epic Destiny with my favorite soul build. Uh, yeah, I will miss I will miss being able to to have all this stuff as yeah, as I wanted. I will miss Empyrean Magic. I will miss Energy Burst because uh, actually the the icon will be different. It will be just uh, the the playing uh, all the Dragon Breath, which will become. Uh, an energy burst at level 26 but it won't be this this icon I will miss uh, being able to slot giving energy resistance for my convenience I well masculine runes can be gotten in the new system but I don't remember if I think at level 23 so that's not a big issue but I will miss this angelic presence because uh, I like it, the, the concept i also miss uh, this this stuff which was mostly useless but still was fine and i will miss reborning light which was so cool i don't know why they are retiring it it was the the perfect epic moment but nevertheless it's going away i will miss the energy sheet being able to have both the burst, the vortex, and the and the dragon breath, which was pretty fun, and it's no longer available. It will be no longer no longer be being available. In general, I will miss this old system and the fate uh, fate points system. So I wanted just to to sing a good. Sorry, <laughs> that was not too meant to be click. I wanted to to sing a goodbye to this and I will do by doing alpha quest I want to be completing it because uh, I want to keep the, the first time XP since I'm almost capped because I don't want to go to take level 22 because in the new system I will get a feat uh, but if I'm already level 22 I won't be able to to, to take it and so, yeah, it's best to, to wait. I don't even know if I'm able to do it on R1 right now, but... I really want to, to, to give a final shout out to, to this. Inquisitor Noman waits for you near the entrance. An irritated scowl on his face. Novice, stay near me. Now I'm taking off my mic because I want to, to capture the, the the sound effect as well.
as you can see then I'm not really that strong to do this quest but uh, nevertheless uh, I really like the, the the energy burst uh, sound effect also there were different uh, sound effect depending uh, on which one this was uh, the the good old uh, fire one I actually used most of the time the the electric one because that was uh, mostly the type of build that I was mostly comfortable of on sorcerers and the like but yeah nevertheless uh, I mean I'm not uh, uh, saying that the new system will be bad by any means the but first thing I think the, the new the system uh, is uh, on much on many grounds better than the old ones especially the, the they don't use the karma system anymore which was honestly really 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 bad the karma system you don't have to level destinies and yeah in general though I and the, the twist system was uh, a little too complicated in many regards and also the the epic elite scaling was uh, well it, it was it was not a scaling really it was a uh, playing or a uh, playing uh, increase difficulty unwarranted honestly still it always felt like uh, you had fun from level 20 to 30, you never really changed your build because the epic feat doesn't do much and the epic destiny were the same from 20 to 30 so you actually had a more cohesive experience leveling was about getting to the level not unlocking abilities that, uh, that you want And yeah, I'm I'm not saying it will be bad because uh, uh, generally speaking, the epic strike has uh, uh, shorter cooldowns. But uh, yeah, you have to change your playstyle between levels, which I'm not really fond of. And uh, you cannot like take a boon if you don't uh, want to to use primal avatar, for instance. It's uh, uh, I, I really despise that uh, that decision of uh, using multiple trees, but uh, not uh, really, uh, but removing the twist of fate. I would have rather kept the twist of fate, and uh, yeah, maybe. As the path leads well, down, you you add of course to, to balance like things, but sinister temple, and less like an empty like warehouse. Like they. They could uh, removing magister was a good idea. Bringing take, taking away the critical damage from uh, um, draconic incarnation also was a good idea. Which, by the way, these were two changes made on the epic uh, destiny pass. So it's like they created a problem and then they claim this is uh, this solved the issue. I was critical back then uh, as well, but uh, this is besides the point. The thing is, they took away some of the uh, of the cool things about the epic destiny. The fact that you really have a lot, add a lot of flexibility, unless you wanted to min max, in which case they were the right destinies. The solution was change or remove the right destiny that's not how it should work the clink and, creak and we know it steel echoes from the corridor ahead. 
and uh, yeah, they succeeded it from in doing low. so, but they she changed so many stuff uh, and the that we we didn't really want to change. Like, look at this destiny. No the silver no, this one. Has caused enough trouble. So look at this destiny. This was scent. perfect. No, you opinion. will stay it had here everything you You want no Sambolt, Slay. You have it. We'll you want uh, this SLA, which I don't like, but it's not bad. You can. You want CC. You have it. You want spell power. You have it. You want uh, less light ma dam damage. You have you, uh, you have this. You have, you have so many choices, and all are good. The new destinies are not like this. They have good abilities, but everybody in their heart mind will take the same abilities. This is my my thought regarding this uh, this change because. Really, you don't have that many good choices. Most of them are lackluster at the very least. In the center of this room stands a blood-stained altar. What unspeakable acts have been performed there. For my testing though this fight will become easier despite it becoming a despite not having all these abilities. But yeah. Oh fuck. Apparently incapacity is worse than that. Do I have to release? Because you can either release or revive but you cannot. Like, yeah I want to walk to, to a shrine. Oh, no, 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 not that. This. 
sit down. For fuck's sake. Yeah, as I was saying, I was not sure I could do this on R1. Yet again, I wanted to give the Happy Destiny a uh, bye bye. And I think I succeeded in a certain sense. Anyhow, this was everything for today, and we will see with a new system. Bye.